Y limited forfeited 400 shares of 10 is fully called up held by B for non payment of final call money of rupees 4 per share. These shares were reissued to Mr. T at 12 per share fully paid up. Here in the books of Y limited working notes Note 1 distribution of amount and a number of installments application rupees 6 third and final call 4 that is total is 10 400 share we, this means that while limited for, forfeited 400 shares for 10 is fully called up held by Mr. B. Mr. B failed to pay third and final call. Then number of shares forfeited 400, number of shares reissued 400. That means it is full reissue, no, no case of a partial reissue. Now journal entries of Y limited in the fair notes, draw the proper format and the first entry. Share capital account debited 400 into rupees 10, fully called up, 10 rupees called up. 400 into 10 that is 4000. To forfeited shares account that is that is 400 into 6 2400 to forfeited shares account 400 into 6 rupees amount received on application etc that is rupees 2400 to shares second and final call account here it should be i am extremely sorry it should be share third and final call account but in the narration it is written correctly that is amount not received that is 400 into 4 that is rupees 1600 being 400 shares forfeited due to non payment of a third and final call money of rupees 4 per share then these shares are reissued at rupees 12 per share that means at a premium. The next entry of reissue is bank account debited 400 shares into rupees 12. 12 for 4800 to share capital account the called up value of the shares called up or paid up value that is 400 shares at the rate of rupees 10 that is rupees 4000 to securities premium reserve account to securities premium reserve account that is 400 into 2 that is rupees 800 being 400 shares issued at the rate of rupees 10 per share rupees 12 paid up the third one being forfeited shares account debited forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account we forfeited 2400 from mr b and we allowed discount and reissue zero there is no share forfeited account debit forfeited shares account debit hence zero will be deducted the profit is rupees 2400 we reissued the shares at a premium not even at par hence the whole 2400 rupees whatever we forfeited from mr b on his 400 shares will be transferred to capital reserve account. Then the th after this third entry you can see the narration also. Being profit and forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account. And the total will be 11,200 both debit and credit columns. And this is the final answer.